Okay, the cage system. This is a way to play chords up and down the neck, following the five shapes of the cage system, which means the C shape is one, the A shape, the G shape, the E shape, and the D shape. What does that mean? Well, we're going to play the C chord those five different ways of the five different shapes. So here's C in the C shape. Now we're going to play C in this A shape. Well, how do you find that? Well, we just got to follow the fifth string. A, B, C. You got C with the, with the bar here, so that's the C chord in the A shape. So you have C in the C shape, C in the A shape. Okay, what's next? Next is the G shape, or the G chord. Well, how do we find a C chord in that shape? Again, we follow the root note, G. A, B, C. Here's the G chord. We can't play it like that because we have to cover the bar, or the nut, right? Okay, so here's the G chord with the bar. This is kind of hard to play. I just usually play it like this. The bar and these two notes. Or the bar and the bottom note. So you have C in the C shape, C in the A shape, C in the G shape. Now we got to do C in the E shape. Here's E. So here's your E chord. Well, how do I find C? Well, follow the root note again of E. E, F, G, A, B, C. This is C in the E shape. So you got one, two, three. Those are the four shapes. And now the last and final shape, which is D. How do I find a C chord in this D shape? Well, we're going to follow this D note. Or this D note. Okay, so it's D, E, F, G, A, B, C. There it is. We're going to play it like that to cover the other C. I like to play it like this. easier not covering this note. I play it up here. So those are your five shapes. C in the C shape, in the A shape, C in the G shape, C in the E shape, and C in the D shape. Okay, let's take another example. Let's just take a chord and play all the shapes to it. Let's just pick a chord. Uh, e. Okay, here's E. Now let's play this E chord in all the shapes. Okay, let's find the C shape for this E. Well, let's go to C. Now how am I going to find an E? We're going to follow this C root note. So here's C, D, here's E. Here's the C chord, and then we got to do the bar. So it's, we're going to use these fingers as your C chord with the bar. So that's E. This is an E chord in the C shape. E and E. Okay, let's find A. Here's the A shape. How do I find an E in this A shape? Well, we're going to follow the root note of the A. A, B, C, D, E. And there's the bar. Here's your E chord. This is E chord in the A shape. Okay, let's find E in the G shape. Follow this root note. G, A, B, C, D. Here's the E. Once again, here's the G shape. 
but we have to cover the bar over here, so it's like this. G, with the bar chord here. Again, I just like to play it with these two. Top, this one, and that one. Or you could play the bottom E. So you got E in the E shape, E in the C shape, E in the A shape, E in the G shape, and back to E. There's one more chord, E in the D shape. Okay, so here's your E chord, but we're going to play it in this D shape. So here's D, and here's E. You can play it like that, or you can add this E to it. This is a difficult way to play it. I like to play it like this, playing this note up here. 